everybody, welcome back to All Things Dope. My name is Chris Vargas, and unfortunately, Ben, he is out sick, so Ben, we hope you get to feeling better soon. But man, there's been a lot of news, and especially because I was actually out of the country last week, so I apologize. I wasn't able to update you guys with any news or anything like that, but I'm back, and we are here. So, let's get into it, man. The biggest news that's come out, and this actually came out yesterday, and I'm glad that it came out yesterday, but the Justice League movie. They have finally revealed what the Justice League movie is going to be about, who's all in it, and now they are starting to reveal which characters are who. And so I kind of want to just highlight some things for you real quick, but basically the, the plot line of the movie is going to go as follows. Batman is on a mission to find a team, a team to defeat the evil that he saw in his predictions in Batman vs Superman. So his dreams, his nightmares, he is wanting to build a team of metahumans to take on this new evil. And so he is on a mission, him and Wonder Woman, he, he partners up with Wonder Woman to scour the earth to try to find these other heroes. And uh, there's been a lot of set visits. Uh, the big thing that they've uh, kind of revealed about the Justice League is that it's going to be a lighter tone. You know, Zack Snyder and his gang of creators, unfortunately, they were taken back by how Batman vs Superman was received. It wasn't well received the way that they wanted it to be. So unfortunately, uh, they went back to the drawing board. They uh, have created a lighter tone. And hopefully, from what it sounds like from these set visits, there's been a lot of really good action, a lot of really good uh, commentary on this movie so far. Uh, they're talking about Batman having multiple suits, even the Flash having multiple suits. And of course, this is, I guarantee you, all of this, anytime you see a new character in these movies get new suits, sell more action figures. And that's what Warner Brothers does best. I mean, they've flipped their Batman franchise to sell millions of toys, billions of toys at this point. So I can guarantee you that all of the heroes will have multiple costumes and you'll see all of those toy designs here soon. Uh, but beyond all that, really I'm excited. I, I don't want to get into any spoilers that I've seen from the set visit or whatever. Uh, I will show pictures of like the Batmobile and all that good stuff, the new Batmobile that they have uh, put out. But I won't talk about the Flash and Batman scene, but that does really look cool if you are interested. Of course, it's out there. You just got to Google search. Beyond all this, this gets an update on the Batman movie. The Batman movie, of course, is going to be coming out here soon. But Ben Affleck said that he's not 100% happy with the script. And because he's not 100% happy with the script, he doesn't know if he will meet Warner Brothers' deadline that they have for the Batman movie. But I'm honestly, I'm okay with that. I don't want to see a Batman movie that's half-hearted. I, I want to see a Batman movie that is fully committed, just like how he tackled Argo, how he tackled the town. That's how I want him to tackle this Batman movie, and I know that he can do that. I, I know that he is very vested in this character, really wants to see some great things happen with this character, so I know that he will take care of business when it's time to take care of business. On to the other business of the day. I want to kind of do like a recap of E3. I'm not going to recap everything. There's way too much and not enough time in this video to do it. But I kind of want to just do some highlights of what I really thought about E3. And man, oh my god. I um, While I was away, I, I got on the internet for a little bit. I just wanted to see what was going on. And man, there were some amazing things happening at E3. And I wish I was there. I wish I was in the country to even be able to see it. But... I digress. Anyways, this brings us to one of the biggest announcements for Xbox, man. I, and I want to talk about Xbox first because I really liked what they had to bring. They, they brought their hardware game up. And as they should, right? Because their hardware game that they have right now has not been able to keep up with the monstrous PS4. It just hasn't been able to do it. So they have been forced to kind of, you know, reinvent their will. They, you know, they, they have to go back to drawing board. They have to come out with something powerful, number one. But not only that, but also something more powerful than the PS4 Neo that's coming out here soon. So, with all of those things in mind, Xbox really focused very much so on their hardware. So they're going to be launching the Xbox One S, and it's going to be available for like $300 in August. So it's very, very close uh, to the time frame in which they should be releasing the PS4 Neo. But as far as the pricing goes, 300 bucks, man, that's awesome. Of course, there's no Kinect or anything like that, but it does have a lot of upgrades that are well needed to the Xbox franchise, which is going to be their 4K resolution, which is going to be into their games, as well as uh, it's going to be a 4K Blu-ray player as well, which is also needed. I mean, that's definitely something that has to happen in today's society. It's also going to have HDR. Uh, they're also working on like custom controllers and everything like that that you can order directly. So, I mean, they are really working their hardware because that's kind of what they're lacking this year. It's not that they didn't have cool games. They had cool games, but nobody's playing on something that's outdated. It's, it's just kind of, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that Xbox released a, a console that should came out 
three, four years ago, uh, instead of, you know, kind of trying to keep up with the times. And, and so they really focused on their hardware, and so I'm glad that they did that. Now, the other big thing that they, re they released or talked about was the Xbox uh, Project Scorpio that they're working on right now. But unfortunately, that doesn't come out until 2017, and probably not even until, like, holiday season of 2017. Uh, by the time they get that out there, and right now the way that they've, you know, the way that they've proposed this Xbox Scorpio, it's like a second tier PC, like straight up. By the time that it comes out, though, it may be a third or fourth tier PC, and it's not going to be cheap. It's it's got to be over a thousand dollars. I'd be surprised if it came out eight ninety nine. I would say a thousand dollars straight up, to be honest with you. For as much power as it has, six teraflops of power, that, that's insane. That's amazing. Don't get me wrong. That is amazing. But as far as people who are buying consoles, I don't know that they're willing to drop that kind of cash. I mean, these guys are, are complaining about having to buy new consoles already. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. But as far as PlayStation 4, as far as PlayStation 4 goes, uh, man, they've had a lot of really great news themselves. They 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 brought the games. That was kind of their big thing. They didn't really bring the PS Neo out. They didn't really talk too much about it. But the big thing that they did talk about was, of course, their VR and their games. Right off the bat, Arkham Knight VR, shut up and take my money. Please, God, take my money. Take all of my money. Uh, because really... Um, that is something that I've wanted for a long time myself, is just be able to put on the cow, do some detective work, you know what I mean? So I, I am super excited about this game. I don't care how much it costs. I, I'm sure, they, I think they said the campaign time is maybe like three hours, so it can't be very expensive, maybe 20, 10 bucks, something like that. But no doubt about it, that really gets me interested into their PlayStation VR, their Project Morpheus. I am super excited about this. And Morpheus and Neo go hand in hand, so FYI. Anyways, uh, <laughs> you know, the new Spider-Man game, man, that game looked amazing. Uh, I know that that's all like, you know, pre-test, in-game engine, who knows how it's actually going to look, but my gosh, just the suit, how it, you know, incorporates a bunch of different Spider-Man suits all in one, man, that's awesome. Sony exclusive, even more awesome. Another game that they had come out was Days Gone. Uh, I watched the gameplay demo, oh my god, there's so many zombies. I I've never seen so many zombies on screen before, and it looked pretty good. Uh, the other big, big one, and this is one that uh, even my friend Ponce uh, was super excited about when he saw it, God of War 4, a.k.a. Dad of War, that mug looked super crispy. I mean, it looked really, really, really good. And I, it wouldn't surprise me if that's what we end up with because PlayStation, especially on their exclusive games, they go that extra mile and make sure that everything looks great. I mean, Uncharted 4 looks amazing. One of the best games that I've seen since, like, ever on a console, for sure. It looks really, really good. So I'm super excited for what PlayStation has in store for us. And, uh, again, uh, you know, as far as other games and everything like that that we have already kind of talked about, there's Injustice 2. We've talked about that. Titanfall 2, oh, my God, the gameplay looks so awesome. Super insane as far as, like, even, like, their collector's edition that they have for it. It's, like, 250 bucks. Comes with a Titan helmet. Uh, man, it, it it's gonna be good. A Titan pilot helmet. Let me kind of backtrack. A Titan pilot helmet, two hundred fifty bucks. Still debating on myself. A lot of multi plat games, man. Battlefield One looks great. Uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare looks amazing. We saw the gameplay for that. It looks really great. And I know Call of Duty gets a lot of hate, but really, I think it's just because it's called Call of Duty. If they came out with that game and named it something else, had no um, no ties with the Call of Duty franchise, people would be praising it. People would be bowing down and worshiping it. That's how good that gameplay looks. So let's be real, America. We know that we love Call of Duty. We just also love to hate it. And that's one of the, the best and worst things about video games is that as much as we love them, there are a lot of people that hate them. And really, to be honest with you, life is too short to play video games that you're not interested in. So for me, this year, first-person shooters, zombies, action-adventure games, that's where I'm at. The Legend of Zelda looked awesome. Uh, that, that's going to be the one thing. Legend of Zelda and Mario, the, those are going to be the things that keep the Nintendo console alive for years and years to come because people love those things. So that's always going to catch a lot of love. Uh, but really, guys, I, we so much news, and I am so sorry that we're not able to cover all of it. There's just not enough time, but I can promise you there are amazing things to come, and we'll keep covering them as they come along. But 
Ultimately, guys, that's everything that I really enjoyed from E3. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. I know it's kind of a, a, a short video this week, but I just kind of wanted to highlight some things. I'm still trying to get caught up on everything myself. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in again. My name is Chris Vargas. If you really like the video, drop a like, man. If you have some things that you want to add to the conversation or if you had some questions or anything that you want to talk about for E3, man, hit me up in the comment section below. Again, my name is Chris Vargas. Mouth.